All right, Erda auditions. I had my Erdas last weekend in January of 2023. I auditioned in New York because that's where I am based. New York Erdas were held at the Hilton Hotel Midtown location, which was like right across the MoMA Museum. I remember looking out the window and thinking, whoa, that's the MoMA. So it's there if you're familiar with the area. Um, my call time was 7.30. <clears throat> I got there about a.m. 7.30 a.m. Make sure you get some sleep. Man, I, I fucked up. I screwed up. And I only got two hours of sleep. Oh my gosh. I was deliriously tired in the morning. Ugh. So call time was 7.30. Um, and they really do like stick to the schedule. I got there early and um all the organizers were still like busy setting up and stuff so yeah 7 30 they actually started checking us in they took us all to a waiting room and at 8 a.m sharp they started an orientation uh and gave us a very detailed breakdown of what was going to happen that day but also a little bit in the future like when you could expect to get your offer letter um and all the details on that which i will get to 8 30 ish they started taking people from the waiting room in threes and um took them to stand by in front of the actual audition room now i don't know if this is gonna be a surprise to anybody else but i was so surprised to find out how small that audition room actually was Like to my knowledge, there are about 46 uh, schools that are members of the Erdas. And so I thought the 46 representatives were gonna be there. I didn't realize that out of the 46 schools, not all of them um, recruit actors. Some of them don't have acting MFAs period. And some of them like recruit actors once every two years and then some schools don't audition in new york they only audition in like chicago or san francisco take all of that into consideration maybe like 25 to 30 35 schools were there anyways all that to say but that room was a lot smaller than i i imagined like i thought i was gonna be on like a stage stage in a giant auditorium but that was not the case just say so you no know. in case anybody else is expecting that I was one of the first people <clears throat> to go. I think I, maybe I was like nine or number nine or 10 for that group. So they take you in groups of three. We all stand by, one person goes in and then after two minutes they come out, another person goes in, blah, blah, blah. And after those three are done, then the organizers want to get another group of three students. Now they tell you when you go in, slate your name and the pieces that you are doing. And then they are very strict to the two minute rule as you probably already are aware of. You have two minutes to do one or two monologues, a song if you wish. You have free reign over what you do in those two minutes, but they are strict about those two minutes. And also interesting fact is that they don't start that two minute timer when you start talking. They will start the timer once you have a moment of acting. The example that they gave was like, if your monologue is happening while you're shoveling dirt and you start like miming the dirt shoveling, then that is when they will start the timer. Hit the timer, there is a timer in the room who like actually starts the time and tells you thank you when your two minutes are over. Um, and yeah, when I had a chance to like small talk with them, they said, that you know they're not gonna be like malicious and like oh you went over but they said that if you go over time they will keep saying thank you until you leave um so don't make it awkward and uh, just like leave when you hear thank you from the timer that means like you're done and they will not let you talk anymore so i, would, I was actually under time i i stopped I, I think i was scared so i like sped through it <laughs> uh, anyways so my two minutes were over and then i went back to the waiting room and i was actually free to go until 3 15 which is when they said that the callback emails would be um emailed out to everybody so around 3 15 is when they said they were going to email it out but um we got it around i, I would say two i guess they finished auditions early 
and the list was the names of the schools that want to see you, the time that they want to see you, and the room that you have to go to. So all schools equally get 15 minutes of callback time and you are responsible as the auditionee to find the room at the right time for the right school based on that list. Like they don't really, the organizers don't really touch anything after the auditions. Like you are responsible for your own callbacks. One interesting thing, again, that I did not anticipate is that some of these callbacks would actually happen in hotel rooms not conference rooms like actual hotel rooms that people stay in with beds and a mini fridge and a bathroom and amenities and all that and some of these school representatives will be like casually sitting on the edge of the bed or like in front of the on the tv stand and they might like grab a water bottle from the mini fridge i didn't i don't know why that was like so funny and surprising to me but that is gonna happen if it is at a hotel, most likely. But it's not weird. Um, they do make it so that you're never one-on-one -on -one with anybody in the hotel room. It's always going to be two representatives. And in some cases, I was in there with another uh, prospective student. So a lot of times it was four by four, 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 two to two. In one callback, it was three professors and me and another girl. Um, so it was like five people in this hotel room. So it's never going to be like awkward or weird, but just keep in mind that it does happen inside a hotel room. Callbacks, really, it depends on the school. In my experience, some one school actually had me do another piece that was not one of my original two pieces that I auditioned with. And the other schools, all of them were very information heavy. So they were you know like they, i think there is this feeling of like they're competing with other schools as well to get you and they are interested in you so they try to kind of sell the school to you and tell you you know all the benefits like oh we have healthcare. this is our stipend it's tuition free it's in beautiful blah 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 city yeah and it was very informational they ask you if you have any questions about graduate school i will say all the schools i believe all the schools that called me back asked me why i wanted to go to graduate school which is common sense that they would ask me but i was surprised that like every school across the board asked me so i ha i would recommend have an answer for that you probably already do if you're applying you're going through the freaking strenuous process of applying for grad school you probably have a good reason yeah so the rest of the day was just going from room to room interview to interview callback to callback um, oh if there is not a hotel room number in your callback sheet and it says ps it means public space and that means it's in a giant conference room where a bunch of schools are grouped together. I think that public space when I went there had like LSU and then East 15 acting school from London, I think, and then Northwestern University. And yeah, it, it was a bunch of like tables for different schools and you know students would come and go and come and go if you're getting called to the public space chances are you're not gonna be doing a monologue or a, a singing for them or acting for them it's most likely gonna be an interviewer very information heavy so as for after the urdas wow something that was really surprising to me was nothing was fixed in the urdas I know from experience for Yale and Juilliard, like if you don't get called back after your first audition, that means you're no longer in the running. They are just like, you're crossed off the list and they're not interested in you for that year, right? And Erda's, it, that is not the case. During the orientation, the organizer was saying that if you did not get called back from a school that you were really hoping to hear back from, you are free to go into the URDA directory and find their contact and email them and tell them, you know, these are specifically the reasons why I'm interested in your school. Can you please, like, if you have room for, like, one more callback, consider me. It felt more of, like, a dialogue and, like, you're on an equal playing field with the schools. Um as opposed to like auditioning for Yale and Juilliard, where it's like, you must audition your 
best is like and you have one chance to do it if you screw that chance up like good luck next year you know it was very things were flowing and like if you were interested you could call them there was also something called a um what did she call it a like oh oh contact contact laters meaning on your callback email if there are schools that don't have a time or a room number it means that they want you to contact them after words at some point to schedule like an interview or a callback because they just simply did not have enough time that day to see everybody that they wanted so if you have the name of a school under the list of like times and room numbers it's still a callback in a sense they just didn't have time to see you that day so yeah, it felt very flexible. Um, and they the timeline that uh, the organizer gave us, February 13th is the earliest that you can receive an offer from a school. They are not allowed to like give you offers the day of the Erdas. I don't know why, but they made it seem like they were very adamant about this. And they said, even if verbally, like a school is like hinting at it, or even verbally, if they say they're gonna offer you a spot, it does, it's not official until they give it to you in writing. And the earliest that they could do that is February 13th. I don't know how this date was chosen. And it like um, proved to be true because after the Erdas, when I was corresponding with some of these schools that I was called back to and interested in, they kept mentioning like, oh, we can't give you an offer right now, but like, let's keep this dialogue going, blah, blah, blah. Um, so yes, don't expect to get like an offer at Erdas. It's just not gonna happen every school had different procedures for what happened afterwards some schools said all right we had a great meeting here's my card if you're interested in being in the running for a spot at our school shoot us a message if you're if you we don't hear back from you then we'll understand it as like you're not interested in the school and that's fine and some schools that was it like some universities that earned as auditions, those two minutes were it. Like that was enough for them that they could then like make a decision on you <laughs> from just that, which I thought was like wild. All my experience with grad school auditions is like you audition and then you audition again the same day and then you audition for another group and then maybe like at the end of the day, they want to see you again. And then in February, they want to have you back for callback weekend, right? So that was interesting. Oh, yes, yes. So going into Erda's, I was only interested in maybe two schools out of the 40 something members. And I was thinking like, even if I ca get called back to some of these schools, like I probably won't go to callbacks because like I'm not interested in them. I'd rather focus my energy on the two schools that I have not set my sights on. And I guess this is a common thing that happens because during the orientation, the organizer specifically said, even if you think you're not interested, even if you've never heard of this school before, I would highly recommend you go to callbacks that they have heard year after year about how students say that I wasn't thinking about this school, but I went to the callback and like, it was amazing. The faculty was so supportive and they had like all these things that they were looking for in a school. They just hadn't like heard about this school before. All to say, they recommend you go because you never know what's gonna happen. So only one of the schools that I was interested in called me back. The other schools that called me back, I had never heard of, or I was like, I'm not moving to Florida, or I'm not moving to Ohio. Um, but I still went, even though I was like, at the end of the day, I really just wanna go home. I still went to all the callbacks and I was so happy to like meet with these schools. I was very pleasantly surprised at some of the schools and I had like really, really good conversations. I could tell the atmosphere of what that school was gonna be like um, by just meeting with them and having that conversation. So I would recommend it, even if just to like have a point of reference when you're so you can compare them to other dream schools that you're more interested in. Um, so yeah, that's my like rundown of what it was like to audition for Ernest. Hope that was helpful.
I thankfully took some videos. So I think those will be the most helpful. That would have been the most helpful to me because I really just wanted to envision the space that I was auditioning in before I went. This is what I realized. Yale and Juilliard are great schools, but if it's not for you, it's not for you. Like schools are just looking for different things and schools just have different benefits and different opportunities. Like if you're really like, definitely want to get your equity card in the two, three years that you spend a grad acting MFA, you get your equity card at Florida State Aslo Conservatory, but you don't get your equity card going to Juilliard because they're not affiliated with a regional theater or a theater that gives out EMC points. If you're looking for a school that has free tuition, which Juilliard is not free, it is a lot of money. Columbia is not free. It is a lot of money. It's more expensive than Juilliard. If you do not, if you're adamant about not being in student debt by the time you graduate, those schools are not for you, right? If you have a, a teacher who you really look up to who happens to have like an on-camera class at this school or is the head of acting at this school, then you go there and you think, oh my gosh, I have to get into, yeah, I have to get into Juilliard. If I don't get into those schools, that means I'm not valuable. Or it has made me feel like that's not the case. These schools are just looking for different things. There are so many different schools and so many different things they offer. And it really is being able to discern what you need, being clear about why you are going to grad school, just knowing which road, which school is going to be the most nutritious and helpful for you. And having Yale, Juilliard, and NYU on your resume does get you into doors that other schools on your resume may not be able to. And there will be that sense of like, oh my gosh, this kid went to Juilliard, this kid went to NYU. Um, there will be that ego boost, but I really it made me feel like it's just about your process and your journey. As I was editing, I just realized that I never um filmed like a ending to my Erda's journey so i ended up getting two final offers from Erda's. going into Erda's, my top choice was northwestern university and a couple of other schools but northwestern was on the tippity top and i got a final offer from northwestern so i will be attending northwestern in uh the fall so yeah it was really great i it was my first year doing Erda's. i did not do it last year I don't know why. And yeah, best of luck to anybody else who is doing this in the future. All right, that was it. Peace out. There was one school that absolutely like blew my mind with how insensitive they were and like how much of a scam it seemed like. It was my last callback for the day. As soon as I sit down, I will say it was a white woman and a white man. As soon as I sit down, the man asks me, so how is your English so good? Like in, in the year 2023, he probably went through DEI and sensitivity training and that's the best he can do. Like ask me why my English is so good. That's the first question you want to ask me. I will give you the name of this school. If you are interested, just email me. I will, I will give you the name. All right, peace out.